this community is going to be what we make. I want to see kids laughing. I want to see kids having fun. This is our park. It's our community. It doesn't belong to gangs. It doesn't belong to violence. Hope always rises to the top. It doesn't matter how horrible a situation is, hope always rises. Now this is our city, this is our park, and not here in this great city of ours are we going to allow the act of a few to take away the joy of the great many. We want people to start looking at this community in more of a positive light. We're just regular people with a couple of people who are not making very good decisions right now. Right now, Denver police are investigating a deadly Denver shooting. Denver police say at least two deadly shootings over the past three weeks may involve gangs. Community leaders in Denver are trying to head off a violent summer before things get any worse. It was a scary summer in our neighborhoods. This area has definitely seen its fair share of bad days, of rainy days. We've had several killings in Denver just this summer. We begin with a developing story this Friday afternoon. Denver police say two people are dead and two others are wounded because of a shooting this afternoon near 33rd and York. When you watch it on TV, you just never think that it could happen to you. When my nephew Justin was taken away from us, my phone rang and she had said that Justin had just been uh, shot and uh, he was gone and it was just unbelievable. It's heartbreaking. There's more that you're hurting than just that person that you think that you need to kill for no reason. Just like when my son was killed in 2004. You're not only affecting that person that's killed, you're affecting a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, a grandparent. An impromptu memorial has gone up at the site where a man was killed outside of a nightclub earlier this week. He was a very loving person. It does hurt when I see anybody be taken away like that. <laughs> That night, it, it, it changed everything. When this fight broke out, she was walking down that way, and uh, I was on stage, and we heard the gunshots, and you know, I ran down there, and it's awful. These officers put their life on the line every day, and it's, it's not realized until we actually lose one. I think that sends an earthquake to your community. She's trying to stop somebody from messing up something that's so great here. The jazz in the park is a great thing because it brings a lot of people together. So that's how gang violence affects all of us. A lot of people do get caught in the middle. It's not just a blood or a crip thing. I mean, this is about a community. It's just a matter of turning things around. Amidst disaster, amidst so much tragedy, hope will still rise to the top, and hope did. Everyone knows what happened a few years ago at the Hollow. It was burned down by rival gang members. It was a very negative thing. But now we're using this area as a national example. It still can be that positive thing again. I grew up in this community, it was a war zone. Now look at it, guys, it's a youth center. The bad guys don't always win, guys. There was a lot of people in this community and a lot of people who care about this community who really wanted to see this area improved, and they've done it. And today, after years of pushing for donations to fix the area, that dream comes true. I used to be a gang member, and I'm from this community, and guess what? I'm putting up playgrounds. So it is possible. And I think you need community-engaging events like this to help us believe, like, yeah, that's right. Hope is hard to, it's elusive, you know? It's hard to grab a hold on. But when we have community events like this, it lets us remember that there is something better, that there is something more out there. It's been a stormy summer, but I'm looking off in the distance and I see the sun rising. It's, it's coming back. It's coming back and it's gonna be better than it was before.